Caraca, esse, esse é bom. NBA Craziest Mark the Moments. O que, que quer dizer aqui? Os momentos mais loucos da galera que estava microfonada, dos jogadores que estavam microfonados na NBA. Esse vai ser bom, bora. Teach Joel and B how to play basketball. Joe, shoot it. Shoot the three. Jimmy Butler é muito resenha, né, amigo do Ney? One can only imagine what could have been. But next up, there's no imagining. Oh, Jay Crowder speaks whatever is on his mind. A total uh, impeding. Oh, yes, I'm saying. <laughs> Dang, I didn't know Daniel Theus and Eminem were long lost relatives. Just like I didn't know LeBron James almost got into a fight with his own teammate. That's that kick for Powell. Double team, double team, LeBron. Oh, boy. Run. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, não. Now we gotta go the other way. Powell all the way to score. Second quarter. Danny Green might be old, but ain't They don't forget, do they? No, they don't forget. <laughs> Dang, that joke never gets old. Just like Chris Paul's reaction to this next play. Robertson for three. Hell no. Andre Robertson Hell no. isn't the only one embarrassing himself. So is Patrick Beverly. For Golden State. He's got 11. I'm going to come from Lou Williams. Curry inside. Goes into the defense of Beverly with a foul. Curry with his second foul. He also leads Golden State in scoring with 13 points. Ah. Ah. Reference, it's been almost four years since this comment. Dorian oh, yeah. Curry won a championship <laughs> and finals MVP, Trust whereas so Beverly has played for four different teams. Color. Embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as the moments ahead. Gente, só pra vocês saberem, só pra vocês ficarem ligados aqui, o, Be o Patrick Beverly falou assim, ó, os próximos cinco anos são meus. Você já teve seu tempo, Stephen Curry. Esse, ele, ele falou isso há quatro anos atrás. Nice. Coming up, Ben Simmons trolls Yusef Nurkic, Jack gives a legendary press conference response, and a referee roasts LeBron James. However, before we get to those moments, it's time for number 21. Because if you know Jose Alvarado, you know he's known for one thing, steals. But while most fans appreciate his hustle and hard work ethic, not all NBA players are fans, especially D'Angelo Russell. So you only know, my man Grand Theft Alvarado made him pay. Can he shoot? Yes, I can shoot. Safe to say, Russell is staying away Not from God. GTA in the future. On the other hand, LBJ ain't afraid to speak his mind. If a call doesn't go his way, the entire arena is gonna hear him loud and clear. It ain't our ball. It ain't our ball. Ele it ain't our ball. Gente, ele não é bola nossa, não é bola nossa. It's our ball. Hey. E ele foi subindo. Nossa bola, nossa bola, nossa bola, nossa bola. It's our ball. Damn, he didn't so lay up this man ball nossa. Nossa. He needs a pick me up. This wasn't the only time he could have used some comfort food. Because on February 18, 2021, okay. the Nets were facing the Lakers. When late in the first quarter, the Lakers anymore. sent LeBron to the line. Who's ball on the floor for the Lakers? Irving, the only starter on the floor lay, lay up, for the Nets. Lay up, lay up. The, uh, we'll have... Nah, bro. That's Ai. cold. But that is cold Caraca, for the next moment. It's so cold, melhor. he gives even the ice for the challenge to run for his money. Kevin Garnett. He has been excellent at the free throw line this season. And of course, misses on the first attempt. Paul Pierce trying to check in for Kevin Garnett. Why do you just gotta violate the Teague brothers like that? He's out here trying to start a fight, which reminds me of Giannis. He doesn't want to fight, he wants a magic show. Look up! Magic, I want magic now. Now this is the time. Come on. Some of the top coaches could be in Giannis' the future. But while Giannis was coaching up Luca, Curry was keeping a close eye on King James. I ain't been this close to this ever. I'm with Curry on this one. That pregame ritual is hella dope. That said, there's a fine line between doing something dope and doing something stupid. Just ask Russell Westbrook, because with only eight minutes remaining, Westbrook's Rockets were trailing Dame's Trailblazers by 14 points. In other words, the game was all but over. But that still didn't stop Russ from subscribing to the channel. Well, that and talking smack. Westbrook works to the near boundary. 
The flurry of moves, Dame stays right with him and then chops him. What about the empty last weekend? Is he talking to Dame now? Oh, oh he, just, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, Dude knows how to talk and talk. You, you can't you walk. See walk. Dame, However, if you thought that was bad, check out what a 73% free throw shooter said to oh, one of the yeah, greatest okay. free throw shooters of all time. They're really making sure that they get back. <laughs> Steph is thinking, I'm the greatest free throw shooter of all time. It shouldn't happen to me. What's wrong with this rim? Someone check this. Oh. My G missed one free throw, and everyone acts like it's Y2K again. Although number 13 is straight up comedy. Cause oh it's no secret everyone wants to be like Mike, but never in a million years did I think that also applied to referees. So he didn't touch with both hands, that's yeah, the thing. You think so, Michael? 55, hits, two to go. Essa é Michael, I didn't see you. Deixa eu falar. Essa aqui é a seguinte, o árbitro, ele... Eu tô, eu tô explicando um pouquinho porque tá em inglês, tá? O árbitro, ele vira e fala assim, é... Falta, número 55, não sei o que, tocou com uma mão. Ele não vai dar falta. Aí o Michael fala pro árbitro que ele tocou com as duas mãos, pô, isso é falta. Aí o árbitro fala, Michael, eu não vi ele tocando com as duas mãos, não. Put hands on it, Michael. But I believe you. But I believe you. I saw one, I saw one, I saw one hand. The NBA script writers really outdid themselves with this call. But do you know what's even wilder than this call? What Michael Jordan does when he gets to the free throw line. Makes it what, three? Essa, muito boa, muito boa. Essa é pra você, bebê. Olhos fechados, bang. If talking a seven foot one yes. giant and closing your eyes is an evidence that MJ is built different, I don't know what else is. Although, do you know who isn't built differently? Carl Anthony Towns. Because in the 2022 playoffs, his confidence got the best of him against the Memphis Grizzlies. One second, the Timberwolves are up 51 to 34 in the second quarter. And next up, they get outscored 25 points in the fourth quarter, yes. which all could have been prevented if it wasn't for this. Yeah, we in Minnesota now. Like I said after the media, all right, cool, we got to come back to our house now. I only seen them at our, their house. Let's just say there's well, a big difference caramba, between playoff Jimmy and playoff Cat. Just like there's also a big difference between the previous moments and what's still to come. Yeah. Now that we've reached the top 10, it's time to enter a different stratosphere. And what better way to enter a new stratosphere than the ben walking Simmons. brick himself, Ben Simmons. Hey, just, ain't no way Simmons just called Nurkic ass. I mean, this dude shoots so many bricks, he's built houses. Which reminds me of Grant Williams. Because this dude shouldn't be talking at any point. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. But somehow, this incident with Jimmy Butler isn't the first time his mouth got him in trouble. Story, Grant Williams, Ken Wright. Errou o primeiro já. Errou o segundo já. How my man gonna not miss one, but two game-winning free throws? There's only one explanation, karma. Speaking of karma, well, check out this exchange between Shaq and a reporter in the 2006 Finals. Shaq, let's just say that a uh, snake bit your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? No, but I will with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Shaq to take a stupid question and then turn it into a legendary response. Yet this wasn't the only awkward situation that turned into comedic gold. Just recently, the Lakers and Nuggets were going head to head in the Western Conference Finals. But out of the blue, LeBron starts trouble with the referee, physically. As an NBA referee, you need to have thick skin. That's never been a problem for Scott Foster. Meanwhile, Zach Randolph might be even tougher because one time he spotted DeMarcus Cousins acting all tough. So what my man do? He decided to humble him. Late in his career and just battling every... Safe to say, this isn't a guy you mess with oh, that but neither is Kobe Bryant. See, it was the 2008 Olympic semifinals between USA and Argentina. A rematch from the 2004 Olympic semifinals where Argentina upset Team USA. So this time around, Team USA was out for revenge. And lucky for them, they had the Black Mamba on the side. Because midway through, Kobe started talking trash to Argentina's Luis Scola. However, this wasn't your ordinary exchange. Instead of speaking English, Black Mamba went a different route. Quote after that game, after the United States lost to Argentina, he spoke to Ginobili as the assistant coach of the United, United States. He said, he may be a better competitor than he is a player. Tonight, he was both. It's moments like these that showcase how special the Redeem truly was. But if you thought that was nostalgic, you also need to watch this moment. But After the United States lost to Argentina, he spoke.
Olha lá, ele falando pro escola. Me encanta a escola, assim me gusta, né? Ele tá falando. I, I love it, escola. That's how I like it. Muito bom. Por quê? Porque aí eles estão ganhando. Então ele tá assim, bom, bom. É assim que eu gosto, é assim que eu gosto. Ginobili, as the assistant coach in the United States, he said he may be a better coach. A escola zoa ele e fala, speak English, you do that better. Fala, fala inglês, né? Tu faz isso melhor. Melhor tu falar inglês, não fala espanhol, não. Then he is a player tonight. Aí eu como bola. I'm gonna show you what language I speak. Eu como falo. Eu vou te mostrar que língua eu falo. Ele fala. Black Mamba fala o quê? Língua da vitória, né, mesmo? É essa língua que ele fala. He was both. Popovich. It's moments like these that showcase how special the Redeem team truly was. But if you thought that was nostalgic, you also need to watch this moment between two all-time greats. Wow. Agora foi o seguinte, nesse momento aí, o falaram pro Kevin Durant assim: "Você tem que tomar esse jogo para você, você tem que ganhar esse jogo". Aí que que o Kevin Durant fala: "Você tem que calar a porra da tua boca". Ele sure loves to talk, which brings us to the three craziest mic moments in NBA history. Because this time we are entering a different stratosphere. We are entering a different universe. A universe where integrity is honored and the ball never lies. See, back in 2019, Larry Nance Jr. was handed a very controversial flagrant foul. But rather than making a big fuss about it like most players, he let the Knicks prove his point for him. Bali. So the two free throws and possession. That's a very big call at this point again. Ball don't lie, just yelled out. Bola no mente. Bola no mente. That's the old Rasheed Wallace phrase. Bola no mente. Bola no mente. Twice. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Let the ball do the talking. But if you thought Draymond Green is taking that advice to heart, that's again. He's always going to voice his opinion on the court. Just in case he doesn't get a chance on the court, don't fret. He'll let it be known on his podcast. It doesn't matter how offensive his opinion is, he's going to speak his truth. Just ask Paul Pierce. Chasing that farewell tour. They don't love you like that. By 17. By 46. As I won in Victory here in... O Dragon Green tá falando aqui. Chasing that farewell to they don't love you like that. Ele tá falando assim, ó. Tá tentando essa, essa, essa temporada de despedida, mas eles não te amam assim pra você ter essa temporada. Uma turnê, né? Mas eu acredito que farewell to seria uma turnê de despedida. Mas não é turnê, é temporada. Sometimes the truth hurts, but then again, we can't all be Kobe Bryant. He's truly one of a kind. Actually, I take that back. Don't get me wrong. There's only one Black Mamba. There is one person who was cut from the same cloth as Kobe. Michael Jordan. As it turns out, Kobe grew up watching MJ. In fact, he admired MJ so much that he and his dad saved up their money to watch MJ from the nosebleed section. So lo and behold, when Kobe enters the NBA, he wanted to be just like his idol, trash talking and all. But what happens when two players with the same mindset and mentality go head to head? Well, fortunately for us, we don't have to wonder anymore. In 2003, the world was lucky enough to watch them battle in Jordan's final All-Star game. And boy, it would not disappoint. Because in addition to a great basketball game, we also got to watch a back and forth between two e o susto aqui dentro de casa, gente. Vamos lá. Deixa eu botar pra ir traduzindo aqui. Final All-Star Game. And boy, it would not disappoint. Because in addition to a great basketball game, we also got to watch a back and forth between two of the game's best trash talkers. Kobe falou pro Jordan, só isso é falta. Sempre. Ah, não, you ain't talking. Isso foi o Jordan falando pro Kobe, isso é falta, pô. É falta sempre. Aí o, o Kobe foi e falou: Ah, não, tu não tá falando. Aí o Kobe falou: Ah, você não tá falando. O, o Jordan falou: Hey, you only got three now, I got six. Ou seja, o Jordan falou: Tu tem três títulos, eu tenho seis. <risos> Vou levar isso pra longe, vou levar isso pra mais longe. Tá na frente. Uh, you only got three, man. Jordan de novo, você só tem três. I know where you're going. You gotta get up quick. If you knew where I was going, why you go for the face? Aí o Kobe falou que sabia pra onde o Jordan tava indo. O Jordan falou: se você sabia pra onde eu tava indo, por que, que você caiu na fita? Mike, after you face the ball, where else you gonna go? É, mas onde você vai go for you. Aí ah, ele estava falando. Aí ah, eles estão explicando tecnicamente agora. Vou voltar para vocês tecnicamente o que eles estão falando. 
Vamos lá. Vai, 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 vai. Você só tem Falaram dos títulos aí. Obrigado por ter aceito. Bom, aí o Copo falou. Eu sei onde... É, I know where you're going. Eu sei pra onde você vai. You gotta get up quicker. Você tem que levantar mais rápido. Isso o Copo falando pro Jordan. Yeah, get up quicker. Aí o Jordan fala pro Copo. You know, if you knew where I was going. Tipo, você sabe? Se você sabia pra onde eu tava indo. Where are you going to be? Então, por que, que você vai estar? Tá? Entendeu? Ou seja, aqui foi o seguinte. Se você sabia pra onde eu tava indo, por que, que tu vai cair na finta? Por que, que eu vou fazer a finta e você vai cair? Se você já sabe qual é a minha... Pra onde eu vou. Mike, after you face... Aí o Kobe. Mike, after you face... After, after face the ball, where else you gonna go? É? After, depois de você pegar a bola e fazer a finta, pra onde mais você pode ir? Bom, we have to use your feet. Aí o Jordan fala pra ele. Swap you off your feet. Tirar ele do balanço dele. Então, tirar ele da, 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 da passada dele, sacou? Pra poder desequilibrar e fazer a fila. Yeah, but where go? Aí o Kobe falou de novo. Onde você pode ir? Aí o Jordan falou, no jogo eu vou pra cima de você. Go for you. I'm going for these ribs right here. That's alright. Acho que o Stella. I shoot him better. Olha lá. Sure. Better with the clock going down. Aí o Kobe falou, não, nem pra quando... quando... Hey, that was special to watch. But what makes this moment the best isn't just the words being spoken. Instead, it's about the budding friendship between two of the NBA's biggest competitors. Despite their unyielding desire to win at all costs, it's clear they have so much respect for each other. It's like watching two brothers go head to head. They're all competitors. And at the end of the day, they're even greater friends. It's possible you'll never see a friendship like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant again. Just like there's certain moments you're only lucky enough to see. Maravilhoso ver Jordan.